A life of service to humanity, rescuing and salvaging many from suicide missions. But I have my worries, stories, struggles, and hurdles. Imagine if I chose not to be what I am. Imagine. If I had abandoned, imagine if I had allowed my challenges to overwhelm me. What if I choose to die with death? the male with no hair 
who is to blame? Losing the game. I know, it's insane. It feels like the stroke of Ken when I lose my fame. I'm depressed, oppressed, and suppressed. Abused, refused, and used. Isolated, separated, and castigated. Guilted, cheated, and dreaded. Dad doesn't love me. But the doctors keep on lying. Your son will be fine. Just give me some time. Now. The last few months has rather been traumatic. The security challenges in most parts of the country aside, the media space has been awash with reports of cases of suicide. Recently, we were greeted with suicide case of a lecturer at the Department of Mathematics in one of the universities. It was reported that the deceased ended his life after unfulfilled dreams of completing his PhD program. The following week, a hundred level student in another university also died by suicide after she was reportedly gifted by her boyfriend. Several days later, news broke that another undergraduate, a hundred level student of chemical engineering at the university, ended his life after cranking two board to soft sniper. Shortly thereafter, an 18 year old was found dead in her room, bottles of insecticide by her side. In another report, her dresser in Lagos ended her life after a boyfriend of two years ditched her. Another baffling case of suicide occurred involving one member of a Pentecostal church in Lagos who reportedly got depressed over his accommodation issues before taking his own life. On the 17th May, a 17-year-old in Jos was reported to have drank a poisonous substance to end his life when he learned that he had failed the 2019 jam examination. A day after, on May 16, it was also reported that the third year physics astronomy undergraduate of the university was found dead in an uncompleted building in the educational institution. His lifeless body was found dangling on a rope suspended from the heights. I know you are the source of my inspiration. You have encouraged me and the reason I have never kissed the ghost. But you suddenly asconded for a reason ever knows. You left me in pain as I will. And since I have no order to be there for me, I decided to fall on my soul. Oh death, where is thy sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. I am a living testimony. I was a victim of suicide. I am alive today, so that some other lives could live. My life worth thousands, thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ has brought deliverance. Jesus Christ has brought salvation. Jesus Christ has brought victory. You can have victory over that challenge. You can have victory over, over that issue. You know, that challenge, devil is using it as a bait. Devil is using it as, uh, as something that will trigger you, that will make you to end your life because he knows when you end your life there, then the end result is air fire. Only if you come to Jesus Christ. Because in him, there is deliverance. In him, there is victory. In him, there is hope. In him, there is prosperity. In him, there is wisdom. In him, there is power. What are you looking for? Whatever thing you are looking for here on earth, in the name of Jesus, everything is embedded. Cast your cares on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He cares for you. He will never let the righteous be forsaken. There is no condemnation. For those who are in Christ Jesus, come to him.